Welcome to I Saw It in the Catalog, a video presentation of antique phonograph items found in period catalogs. Today, we'll review horns and cranes. The first item comes from the Hawthorne and Shebel Manufacturing Company, formed by Ellsworth Hawthorne and Horace Shebel. Advertised in the Hawthorne and Shebel catalog as horn stands and cranes are the number one lightweight half ring Japan crane and the number three heavyweight full nickel polished crane. Japaning, an early style of paint, was a lower cost finish than nickel plating, making the number one an entry level crane. Collectors today sometimes refer to the number three as a hoop style crane. The next item comes from Gramophone Supplies, a specialized catalog from the Columbia Phonograph Company. Advertised in the 1898 Graphophone Supplies is the horn stand folded. Note the distinctive J-hook on the Graphophone Supplies advertisement and on the crane itself. The Graphophone Catalog, issued by James A. Foster, a Columbia Phonograph Company distributor. In the 1896 James A. Foster & Company catalog is a 20-inch brass horn with folded stand. The horn and stand are first depicted as a complete outfit with a continuous running graphophone. This robust brass horn and stand are also sold separately in the miscellaneous supplies section for $7.50. The final item comes again from the Hawthorne & Shebel Manufacturing Company. Advertised in the Hawthorne & Shebel catalog are an array of full spun brass horns. The sizes available spans from 14 inches up to 56 inches. Shown is number 53, 24 inches in length with a 9.5 inch bell for $5. Full spun horns are made in the same manner as band instruments. The seam runs the full length of the horn but is nearly invisible. When viewed very close up, the seam looks like a zipper. Thank you for watching this episode.